All right, Christina Partsadevolos picks up the story. She's in our newsroom here in New York. Christina. Connell, you're laughing right now, but what's no, I'm not rumbling. to? I'm not saying anything. Oh, you're no, not saying I, anything. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not going to put any words in your we mouth. I just want but... a report from you, and then I'm going to thank you for it, and then maybe <laughs> Melissa will say something. <laughs> it's unlikely that I'll have anything to say about it. But carry on. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> world, the world knows now that Connell has absolutely no opinion about this advertisement. What's not to love? You got an over, over $2,000 stationary bike for Christmas. Well, obviously, go figure. Online critics aren't loving it at all. The new Peloton ad was just released for the holiday season and people are criticizing it for many reasons. The first one being that it's sexist because the men seem to suggest that the woman should work out more. Here's one Twitter comment I pulled from online and I quote, the holiday Peloton ad where the skinny athletic model undergoes a transformation over the course of the year to become a skinny athletic model who now rides a stationary bike really pulls at the heartstrings, but what you're seeing on a screen is another one where they're commenting, look, I don't want to be the Peloton ad guy anymore, but this newest commercial about the vlogging 116-pound woman's year-long fitness journey to becoming a 112-pound woman who says, I didn't realize how much this could change me. It's just really goddamn ridiculous. Come on. So a lot of people have been arguing about that, the fact that she hasn't really changed over the course of uh, the, this commercial. I reached out for comment from Peloton, haven't heard back. They have since disabled the comments on this 30-second commercial. There's even an edited version now. They cut out the men. The company, though, has come under fire before for its marketing since they only feature really expensive homes in their commercials. But I guess you can call that aspirational, right? Although the company is down, look at that, over 9% today, it still has a market cap of over 9 billion bucks and has over 500,000 users, many of them die-hard fans. So it must be doing something right, especially since most of the media is covering this ad. And That's we're right. talking about it, right? Look at you. All right, um, Christina, thank you. <laughs> Christina parts of Would you sure. give your wife a Peloton for Christmas? Like I said, I thought I was waiting for your comment on that. No, what, if I got, you, what, do you, what do you think about the, the workout gift for the wife for Christmas? It, well, let me ask you this. So if someone asks for the gift, so say you asked your husband for the gift mm. and he got it for you. Is that still a bad thing? Like, it's, it's very hard for me to imagine asking for an exercise bike. Like I said, Christmas. I didn't want to get so involved in, the in this at all. I, well, how did I get but involved? I would, if I walked in and I was surprised by that, I think I would pick it up and throw it at my husband, then proving what kind of upper body strength I have <laughs> and that I don't need the bike. But right. That, who needs a workout now? I wanted to, so who watched the ad and didn't realize the huge problem with it? I mean, obviously no women. A guy, I guess. I, 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 I like I said. And, and she's like almost in tears that she's been transformed. And <laughs>